Today I am going to show you how to add end cards on your YouTube videos and also how to create custom templates for the end cards. End cards will help you to get more views and subscribers. So let's get right into it. So once you are in the YouTube studio, click on the video you would like to add the end screen. And then scroll down and click on the end screen. And next step is click on the plus element and select the video. And then click on the choose specific video and select the video you would like to show at the end. And then if you would like to add more then click on the add element again click on the video and then same process choose specific video and then select any video you would like to display and even you can change the location of the thumbnails as well and then same process plus video choose specific video and select the video so now we have three videos the user can click on them and go to that specific video. Last element which I am going to add is the subscribe button. So click on the element and then select subscribe. And as you can see the subscribe button is added. Just save. And then reload the video in the YouTube. And then at the end, before the ending, here you can see, now we have three thumbnails. These are the clickable links. User can click and go to that specific video. And then this is the subscribe button. The user can click and subscribe the channel. You can also design custom end screen template using Canva. So once you are the Canva, click on the create a design and then select YouTube outro. As you can see, the dimensions are 1920 by 1080 pixel. Make sure that this dimension is same as your video's dimension. So click on YouTube outro. And then here you have two options. Either you can select a template from here or you can create your own from scratch i would like to create my own from scratch so let's say i would like to add a picture for that we need to go to the uploads and then you can upload any picture okay related to your video i already have the picture i'm just going to use this so click on the picture and then you can you know resize based on your requirement and then move around if you like to learn how to use Canva, I have created another tutorial and I will add the link of that video in the description. So I'm just going to move it towards the left side. And on the right side, I'm just going to add a uh, shape. So click on the elements and then click on the shape and then just resize. And then I'm going to write some text. So click on the text tool and click on, let's say, add a subheading. So this subheading would be uh, watch, watch recent videos, for example. And then you can move this here. So you can change the font style for example this one and you can change the font size this is good and just uh, you can change the location as well and then here i'm just going to copy this and paste and move it here 
where I'm going to add my subscribe button. So subscribe. No. So I'm going to change the color. Uh, so no, I need a dark color. For example, I think this is good. Subscribe no, and I can make it uh, bold. This is good. And I can add arrow just to, because here I'm going to add a um, subscribe button and then here I'm going to add two video links. So to get the arrow we need to go to the elements and then you can go to these lines to get the arrow but I can see this arrow here as well but click on the see all in front of the uh, lines and then from here you can pick any arrow I think I am going to use this and then you can change the color as per your color scheme this is better and then you can you know resize and I am going to point it here and move this little bit down like so so that is pretty much it so this is my uh, template for the end screen so once you are done click on download and then click on the download again so I'm just going to drag and drop in my video editor so the important part is we have to take it to the end of the video and then the duration of this should be 20 seconds so this is most important the duration should be 20 seconds so you can set the 20 seconds whatever editing tool you are using and then this should be like this at the end okay so this should end where the video is ending that is pretty much it and then just uh, export so now I'm going to add that video in my YouTube channel so I'm going to click on the create and then upload videos and then I'm just going to drag and drop the video here and then I'm just going to click on next next and then I'm going to make it unlisted for now save so the video has been uploaded in the YouTube so click on the video and then from the right side click on the end screen so you can click on add element and add video and subscribe button or you can click any of these uh, templates I'm just going to click on this and then you can just uh, change the location of the videos like this and then you can move and change the location of subscribe button as well so I think this is uh, good just click on save and then just uh, play the video and go to the end so here you can see the custom end screen template which we designed in the canva so two thumbnails and then the subscribe button if you would like to create an overlay end screen template and you would like to show a video inside a circle then you have to create a transparent image using any graphical tool so first i'm going to use gimp it is a free uh, graphics tool like photoshop and i'm going to add the link of all the resources in the description box below and then i will dis i will demonstrate you uh, with the photoshop as well so this is the gimp so first step is file new and then 
make sure the dimensions are 1920 by 1080 pixels and then click on the advanced and from here fill with you can choose transparency because we need a transparent image and click on ok this is the canvas first i'm going to draw a rectangle and then i'm going to fill a black color so select the ellipse select tool and draw a circle by pressing shift and alt key and then click on the delete button from the keyboard so that area has been transparent so it is like see through we can see anything which is behind this circle and if you would like to add border then right click and edit and then click on the stroke selection so from here you can select the width so i'm going to use 10 pixels and then you can use any color so i'm going to use white color so here i have to change it to white and then click on the stroke so now you can see we have white color stroke with the, with the transparent circle and then you can just export it as a png file so it should be a png file export as and then png okay export If you would like to prefer using Photoshop, then create new file and then make sure to select 1920 by 1080 pixels with 72 ppi. It is web large from the web preset. So dimensions 1920 by 1080, 72. Uncheck this artboard. It is in pixels, RGB color scheme. And then for the background, you can change it to transparent background create so this is the transparent background we can fill the black color or any other color you would like to fill so click on the paint bucket and make sure it is black click and then click on this elliptical marquee tool with the shift key just create a circle just press delete button now as you can see this area is, is transparent so whatever will be behind this that will be visible and if we want to add a stroke then click on edit and then stroke select the width so i'm going to use 10 and then the stroke color is going to be white for example and click ok now you can see there is white stroke around the circle transparent area and this is the black area and then just export it as a PNG. Okay. Export as a PNG. So in the video, import the transparent PNG. So this is the PNG which we have created using GIMP and Photoshop. And this is my music file. I'm just going to add uh, music. This is my music file. And then below this, I have this video which I am going to play behind this transparent PNG file. So we can see this video through this circle. The image should be on the upper tracks and this video should be below it. That is important. And the duration should be 20 uh, seconds for all these three. So that is pretty much it. So just follow the same process. Click on the end screen and then you can pick any template for example i'm just going to use this if you want you can change the thumbnails and i think everything looks good so this is my subscribe button and then i have two videos to click on and then i'm going to show the video from inside this circle so just save and then play this video so we can see the video inside this circle because it was transparent and then this is my uh, subscribe 
icon and then I have two videos so I'm just going to make it full screen and just uh, turn on the volume If you have any question about today's demo, please feel free to ask in the comments box below and please subscribe, like, comment and share my YouTube videos with the friends and family. Thank you very much.